Hello everyone, I have finally filled up the Covell Sketchbook Pro. So today I am able to give you the full detailed review. Now Covell is actually a company from Poland, not some other countries that I have mistakenly mentioned in some of my earlier videos. So yeah, it's from Poland. So we have this removable uh, piece of paper here. For this particular sketchbook that I have, it's a hardcover A5 size sketchbook that's filled with 56 pages of 300 GSM, 100% cotton watercolor paper. The surface is cold press and the paper is white. So uh, the paper has ISO 9706, which means it's archival, it's asset free and this sketchbook is handmade. These are some of the sketchbooks currently available on their website. I see some of them are out of stock. Anyway, you can email the company to uh, ask them about the stock. So the sketchbooks are available with different types of paper. You can choose 50% cotton or 100% cotton. There is hot press and cold press. And you can also choose the paper weight. We have uh, 200 GSM and 300 GSM. And I see here they have added this uh, latest sketchbook that uses the paper Archer's Expression, which is a uh, 250 GSM paper. And you can get the sketchbooks in either portrait format or landscape format. I believe there are different sizes as well. The sketchbook also comes with this elastic band, which is very nice. You can use this to hold the covers together and you can use this also to bring your some of your drawing supplies out. And I like the fact that this is removable, unlike some sketchbooks which uh, have this uh, sewn onto the back. So if this does lose its elasticity, you can just remove it. Okay, so here we have a nice hardcover sketchbook. Notice the corners here. These are cut with a straight edge, the paper as well. The texture of the cover, it feels a little bit like rubber, not a leather. I'm not sure what material this is, but it's a very nice texture. The binding allows the sketchbook to be opened flat. You can see here it opens up. Overall, the sketchbook looks good and feels quite durable. So we have 56 pages. Oh, what do we have here? These are some ideas on how you can use the rubber. So you can use the rubber horizontally as well. And now let's look at the paper. So we have the company stamp here. And there is the paper imprint for Artistico Fabriano. So it's here right behind the front cover. For the first page of the sketchbook, it's actually glued to this uh, end paper. So for these two pages, um, you can see the glue is like this. So you're not going to be able to open these two pages flat. But this glue is quite strong, so it holds the uh, uh, bulk of the paper quite well. So this is the first sketch, uh, watercolor sketch that I have in the sketchbook. Fabriano Artistico is good quality, 100% cotton watercolor paper. The colors, they appear to be quite vibrant. I really enjoy painting on this paper. Color blends, uh, wet on wet, uh, looks all right, but more on that later. I really like how the paper feels. So this is pencil with watercolor, ink with watercolor. This is watercolor with some white gouache, more inks. Uh, this is gouache, works all right. Here I have ink pens and this uh, sheet here, this color here, that was painted with uh, alcohol marker, colored pencils. 
Even though this 300 GSM paper is quite thick, if you use alcohol markers, um, it's very likely you're going to see the ink bleed over to the other page. So here I see some green and some pink or magenta. Uh, those are from the green and this pink color here. This is gouache and I see some water marks here. This is because I used a lot of water for this uh, sketch and the water went into the binding here. This piece of paper and this piece of paper is the same piece of paper. So it went through underneath this piece of paper to the other side here. Each signature uses two pieces of paper. So this is one piece of paper and this is the other piece of paper. The binding here is tight, but if you do use a lot of water, um, it may still leak or seep through to the other side. So if you want to use a lot of water, uh, look for the pages where uh, it's just a single piece of paper. For example, this is actually on one piece of paper. And I used Sumi ink here and it did not seep beneath uh, this page. More watercolor sketches. This is brush pen with black ink. This is Ecoline uh, marker. This, these are actually, these were actually drawn by my daughter. Ecoline markers use water-based ink, so they are not going to go through or bleed through the paper. So uh, no problems here. If you really want to use alcohol markers, you need to get special paper with a certain type of coating to uh, uh, work with the alcohol inks. Here you see some water from this sketch. So I use a lot of water here as well. And this paper is definitely able to handle uh, really heavy washes, but uh, do bear in mind that if you use a lot of water, it may seep through. Some wet on wet effects here. And this is the last sketch that I have in the sketchbook. Alright, so here are some tests that I did to see how the colors blend or how uh, the colors will uh, charge into a wet surface. I actually wanted to record this test live, but um, there were some audio issues, so I'm re-recording this uh, video again. So this is uh, me trying to create a smooth color blend from ultramarine to this cool red, and I see some uh, watermarks here. You can see a very defined edge, maybe because my technique is not that good. Anyway, I tried again. So here you can see it's slightly better, but the gradation it's not that smooth. So with this particular paper, um, color blending is not as smooth or as soft compared to um, Archer's watercolor paper, which is really so much easier to use when it comes to painting gradations and color blends. So for this test, I have a wet wash of new gum wash and then I painted horizontal strokes with red paint and this is how the colors look uh, when it's diffused. I tilted the paper so the paint runs down like this and you can see the color blend. It's not that soft. Here's a comparison with Fabriano Rosa Spina paper. So I did the same test here. This is also wet on wet. I painted horizontal strokes, but you can see here the colors, they blend out so softly that it's very difficult to see the original horizontal strokes. But here, it's still quite obvious. And for the gradation here, it's way smoother compared to what I have here. And now let's try some layering. So this is phthalo blue. You see some back run here. That's because earlier on when I painted this, there was too much water at the bottom and I accidentally tilted the paper so the water ran up. 
Okay, let's uh, paint over this with a wash of Hansa Yellow Medium. So here we can see the yellow paint, it reactivated the phthalo blue, which I thought was supposed to be very staining. Uh, what this means is always test your paper before you paint on them. So this color uh, or this paint reactivating could be due to the sizing of the paper as well. All right, let me show you pencil marks. So pencil works really well on this paper. The paper is a bit uh, rough because of the cold press texture. So if you're using a wooden pencil like this, um, be prepared to sharpen it quite often. This is mechanical pencil, colored pencils. As mentioned earlier, this paper is kind of rough, so you have to press down really hard to get all the color into the tooth of the paper. And lastly, we have ink. And as you have seen the sketches earlier, ink works perfectly. Oh, the watercolor actually dries quite fast because the sizing allows the water to remain on the surface rather than absorb the water. So um, this makes this paper quite suitable for quick pen and ink sketches with watercolor. And here we have the end papers again, and there is glue here again. And we see this, uh, I'm not sure if I can call this an imprint, maybe an embossed print of the Covell logo. And this is how it looks like on the other side. Overall, the quality for this sketchbook is quite good. Now, if you are someone who likes uh, wet on wet techniques, you like to use a lot of water, uh, do be careful of the binding and how the water can seep under. Um, yeah, and for painting gradations, uh, you do have to practice a bit to get the hang of how this paper performs. But overall, I am quite satisfied with the quality. I mean, 100% cotton watercolor paper, um, there is definitely quality there. All right, thank you guys for watching this review. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.